Okay, so you just got the iOS 17 beta and you're like, all right, I don't want it anymore. It's too problematic. In this video, I will show you the quickest and easiest way to go from iOS 17 back to iOS 16 without hurting your phone. And it's actually really good to do this. I'll explain so much more in the video. Let's get started. You followed all the hype and watched the keynote and everything and you wanted to try the new update. And now your iPhone is super hot super laggy you're now getting a display error saying your iphone will stop charging because it's overheating and on top of that you're destroying your long-term battery health well this video i'm going to be showing you the other part of the tutorial that people aren't showing and that is how to uninstall ios 16 and also keeping your data so you may have seen on youtube that people show you how to install ios 16 developer beta even though you are either not a developer don't pay for it and a bunch of other things, but that being set aside, you may have learned your lesson not to install a developer beta on your main device. So I'll be showing you how to go from 16 developer beta back to the latest version of iOS 15. So at the time of making this video, it's 15.5 and you will not lose any data. So let's get started with the video. This is super helpful and this will help save your iPhone battery long term because your iPhone won't be overheating anymore, you'll be using like a normal iPhone without a beta. Let's get started. Alrighty, so I have to flex. I've been learning some code, right, 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 but who cares? Okay, so here's what you need to do. Um, go and open up whatever browser on your computer, right? And you're gonna wanna go to this website called ipsw.me. I'll leave a link down below. You wanna choose if you have an iPhone or an iPad. So I have an iPhone, I'll be choosing that. Close out of any ads. So here's the deal, right? You're gonna wanna choose whatever iPhone you have. So for this video, I'm using a 10R, so I'm gonna select that I have a 10R. So scroll down, and 10R right here. If you have whatever one of these iPhones, select that. Now what you wanna do is, um, there is one more thing you might need to check. There is different versions of each iPhone. So you will see that, for example, there's an iPhone 10S Max for China, and you know there's an iphone 10 global so look up which version iphone you have so gsm that is an iphone that is like at&t or another carrier so um you do need to know what carrier you have but pretty much every iphone from the 12 up are the same so i'm choosing iphone 10 r um it's really not that difficult then you want to select the latest version of ios it's a six gigabyte file and you're going to get um, a screen like this, you're going to want to scroll down, tap on this download button right here. See where my mouse is? Right here. Click on that, and you will see right here, um, I'm using Chrome or whatever browser, go to your downloads, and it might take 10 minutes to install, and I'll be back with you after that. Okay, so once you have the right IPSW file, you're going to want to take your iPhone cable, Plug it in your iPhone, make sure it's plugged into your computer. You want to type in your device password, and you're going to want to trust your device like so. So what y'all are going to want to do is open a full screen finder window. So this is just your normal finder window, and you're going to want to open uh, your iPhone. It'll be on the side. It'll show up plugged in. If you're on Windows, do not worry. All you need is a copy of iTunes, and iTunes will detect your iPhone. Other than that, this is the same tutorial. Now what you want to do is click on check for update, but, but, but before you do, during this process, my iPhone started to boot loop and I didn't want to risk destroying another iPhone. Now the issue I had is I actually did not back up my iPhone. So this proves why it's so critical to back up your iPhone before you do this. And you can do it just by clicking on the backup button inside of iTunes or the finder window. So always back up your iPhone. Always, always, always do that because this iPhone is bricked. So I'll be finishing off this tutorial by showing y'all um, a clip of another tutorial I have. So it worked last year for everyone. Is click on check for update. But, but, but before you do, you need to worry about two things. If you're a Windows or a Mac user, here's what you do. You don't just click check for update. You want to hold down option and then click if you're on a Mac. If you're on a PC slash Windows computer, hold shift and then click check for updates. You want to hold them at the same time. So you could see right here, I got my uh, iPhone hooked up and ready. I'm going to option and then click check for update. 
and right here you will see my iPhone or my computer shows this window. I don't know why mine is so small. Um, y'all don't need to worry about that. But y'all are going to want to select the IPSW file that you installed at the beginning of the tutorial. You can see that I just chose mine. Same tutorial for Windows, do the exact same thing, and then just click on open. And from here it says your Mac will update your iPhone to iOS 15.5 and will verify the update with Apple. Click on update. And you will see that your Mac is preparing the update um, for your iPhone. And I got my iPhone plugged in right here. And all you got to do is wait a little bit and it'll start updating. You may see a lot of pop-ups on your iPhone. I just saw the iPhone cable plugged into the computer animation on here. Don't worry, just leave it plugged in. And then I just saw an Apple logo. So your iPhone's going to make a lot of frowny faces. Don't worry, this is all completely normal. Uh, just don't interrupt the iPhone. Don't unplug it. Um, you can go ahead and update. So we shall see what happens next. You can see the update is still going. Come on, come on, come on. I'll be back when this disappears and I'm back at the lock screen. Now, real quick, I just want to mention, I did not back up this iPhone. In iTunes, when you click on update, right next to it, there is a backup iPhone button, or it should be right below it. Click that button because that will save you a huge headache if you do run into an error like me. My iPhone has been like this for almost a full hour. So, that being said, back up your iPhone and then update. So I found that out after this. Pairing the software update, I've got my iPhone plugged into the computer and we will see what happens next. And you can see that my iPhone is now restarting. So this will get iOS 14.6 or whatever the IPSW was. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.